Hello, today we're looking at the periodic table and in particular we're going to look at the features of the metals and the non-metals. First thing is though, where are the metals and the non-metals in the periodic table? Here is a copy of the periodic table. If you draw a line in this way here, like some stairs, everything to the right of that line is a non-metal and everything to the left is a metal. So it's between boron and aluminium that you start and everything on the right hand side, these are the non-metals. Everything towards the left is a metal. So it doesn't matter whether, you look, whether you're looking at something like iridium, which you may never have heard of, or niobium, which you may never have heard of, because it's on the left hand side there, we know that they are metals. What are the features of metals and non-metals? Well, we just need to make sure we understand a few of these. The first one is the idea that all metals are hard and they are shiny. There is one exception and that's mercury, which is shiny, but it's a liquid. Non-metals, if they are solid, they are not shiny, they are dull in appearance. Metals have a high density, that means they have a large mass for the volume that they occupy, so they do feel, tend to feel heavy. Whereas non-metals, they have a low density, and a lot of them are gases, so a much lower density than metals. Metals are good conductors of electricity. Non-metals are poor conductors of electricity. They are insulators. Metals are also good conductors of heat energy, and again, non-metals are poor conductors of heat energy. They are also insulators of heat energy as well. Metals are malleable, that means they can be bent or hammered into shape. Whereas the non-metals, they tend to crack or shatter if they are solid. That means they are what we call brittle. So if non-metals are solid, they are brittle, they crack or shatter. Metals have high melting and boiling points, it takes a lot of energy to melt metals. Whereas non-metals, they tend to have lower melting and boiling points. Some of them are actually even gases at room temperature. Metals are sometimes magnetic. Nickel, iron and cobalt are metals that are magnetic. Whereas in terms of the non-metals, they are all not magnetic or none are magnetic. Do not get attracted by magnets. And then the final point here is that metals are what we call ductile. That means they can be drawn into long wire shapes quite easily, whereas the non-metals, they are not ductile, they can't be drawn or pulled into wire shapes, and as we said before, they are brittle, so they crack easily rather than be able to be ductile, drawn into shapes, uh, long wire shapes. So those are the key features of the metals and non-metals, and you can take a screenshot of that if you wanted to keep that with you. Uh, also, remember that if you wanted a copy of a periodic table for yourself that looks a bit like this, you can head over to the website. The link is below in the description. Just scroll down to the bottom of the page and you'll see a link to the periodic table that you just saw on the screen. Just click on the link and you'll get yourself a PDF that you can put on the wall or have on your device so that you can refer to it if you need to. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.